Now you guys may not know this, but I'm a big fan of restoration for beginners. This is for uh, a follow up what Min does. Min does stuff and I get all excited and I figure I can go out and see what he's doing and compare. I think it's also pretty cool to do this because you never know if what you're seeing is normal or not normal. So it's always a good idea to get other people involved and do a similar setup. Anyway, this is my Z. Uh, I've let it warm up. It's down around 800 RPM. Uh, I'm doing the vacuum check, so I want to see how I compare to men's readings. I'm at about 15, 16, 7, about 17 and a half, and you can see the needle's pretty rock solid. Uh, talk about air leaks. Well, one of the things men noted was the uh, what happens if you pull this this off, and this will even show up when you do the uh, dip step. I'm just loosening it. I'm not going to take it all the way off. I don't want to die. Well, there you go. You heard it. So it dropped down. I'll do it. Watch this. Caps get loose. Mass of air leak. Cap back on. It starts to tighten up. An interesting thing that I've noted, kind of off topic, is you might see this. This is a 500 ohm wire wound potentiometer that's hooked in series with the uh, temp sensor. So I've essentially added 500 ohms to the overall uh, sensor reading, which makes the engine think it's run cooler, which doesn't make it rich up the mixture. So what's not interesting is what effect it has on the vacuum. Here I found, I'm at, again, I'm at about 17 and a half, almost 18. Now, I will take away the 500 ohms. Hold on. First of all, you notice the engine seems a little bit less stable than idle. Slowed it down a little bit, and I dropped down to just barely 17. And it sounds a little bit less happy. You start to speed it up a little bit, make it get happy again. Well. But that but the I, I adjust the idle, but the vacuum didn't come back. That's what it was originally. So now it's riching the mixture up. Bring the idle back down. And voila. You gain, you know, at least almost a full segment, uh, one, uh, whatever it is, of HG of mercury it is. So somehow by running it richer, it improves the uh, response to the vacuum. I guess it's because the engine is making more power, pumping better, with less, uh, with smaller opening on the throttle. Maybe the idle mixture is just a little bit hair lean, so by optimizing the mixture at idle, the optimiz optimization of the engine performance is an optimization of the vacuum. But that is, it's, it's per turn the same RPM with less opening of the throttle. So I don't know if that's significant to anybody or not, but it is what it is. That's all for now. Thanks again. Bye.